Hello, sports fans. This is your daily preview of the 2022 World Athletics Outdoor Championships held in the U.S. for the first time ever. It's from July 15th to July 24th, 2022. It's held at the newly renovated Hayward Field, the house that Phil built. And it's in Eugene, Oregon, on the University of Oregon campus. I've been coming here since 1980. I love to worship track and field here. You will too. Our daily previews are sponsored by Koros. Koros is a performance sports technology company. You can find them at Koros, C-O-R-O-S dot com. They've got killer sports timing and training devices, and they have a newly launched training site. You need to check it out. Um, we will also be doing, thanks to Koros, the Coros Athletes Watch, where we will be featuring some of the finest athletes in the world who train using Coros. Today, uh, for example, Jeffrey Kemwar, Let's Net Gaday, uh, Molly Seidel, uh, Gabriella Stafford Debus, uh, among others. So we will have those articles up on Run Blog Run. And thanks again to our friends at Coros, the performance sports technology company. And you can find them at Coros. Dot com. Please support them. Hey, sports fans, this is day five. We have just an evening session on day five, and it begins at 515 with the women's 400 meter hurdle heats. That will be um, Sydney McLaughlin, Delilah Muhammad. We'll see what kind of uh, fitness level she's in. FMK Bull, uh, among others. It's going to be a, a, a tremendous event, and I predict a world record in the final. Uh, at 5.30, the women's high jump final. At 6.05, the women's 200-meter semifinal. That's going to be very, very interesting to see how especially runners come out of the 100. And uh, the semifinal will be brutal. A-plus game, Elaine Thompson, hurrah. Uh, Abby Steiner, uh, Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. There will be some surprises there, mark my word. At 6.33, the men's discus throw. Um, Daniel Stahl. Uh, who his coach did not join him. His coach has got some health issues. Um, Michelle Seen will be, um, I think, the, the top athlete there, but it's going to be very interesting to see what Daniel can, Daniel can pull together. The men's 200 meter semifinal. Wow. No Lyles, Arian Knight. And it was that little finger wagging going to get him in trouble with Arian. And, uh, and then the men's 1500 final at 730. Jacob Inkebrinson, Ali Hoare, Cooper Tier. Uh, Josh Kerr, they're all in it. Jake Whiteman, do not discount Jake Whiteman or Neil Gurley. I think the British team is incredible. I think they could be looking for three in the top six. It's going to be very interesting. They're tough, and I think they could pop a medal or two. Uh, so that's the men's 1500 at 730. And then the men's 400-meter hurdle final at 750. Again, Karsten Warhelm. What kind of health is he at? What kind of level of fitness is he at? Rye Benjamin. Rye wants this really, really bad, and he wants Karsten really bad. Allison Dos Santos. I think it's going to come down to Rye and Allison Dos Santos. And I, between those two, I would put Rye into it. If Karsten's really fit and uh, Karsten can do the mind game things, I think Karsten could do it. I do not think it'll be a world record. I think it'll be around... Oh, 46, 70 or so. It's not going to be crazy, crazy time, but it'll be good. It'll be incredible. It will be a competitive race. As Michael Johnson says, most people give a shit about times they want to see competition. So on day five, we're ending with a men's 400 meter hurdle final. That will be incredible. <laughs>